Hey YouTube, how's it going? Check out my view. I don't think you'll probably be able to see the actual view, but um, I'm staying in this amazing Airbnb place this week um, with this private balcony and this incredible view of the Melbourne skyline. In fact, I'm going to try and... I'll just try and film it. No, you're just not... It just looks really spectacular in real life, but it doesn't look that amazing on a flip cam. Um, sorry, I haven't made any videos in a while. I've been in flux. When you move house every week, everything's always in flux. Um, it was, it's been cool though. It's been really fun meeting different hosts. Like the first week, it was like this like really laid back barman, Australian guy. And the second week, it was this really like hyper um, intelligent sort of was university researcher slash artist slash politician sort of dude like just had political arguments with him all the time but in a good way it was a good it was really good I think we've hung out since I moved out and stuff so you meet people you can make friends that way um my third week I ended up staying in a shared house with like 12 other people I didn't really like that that much my bedroom was like right onto the kitchen so if people would be up till like midnight making food really loudly and like shouting and whatever so I didn't like that so much so this time I paid a bit more and apparently ten pounds more per night gets you like this like pretty spectacular uh, balcony. And uh, my room looks really good, but I'm not going to show you because they've got shit strewn everywhere. I don't want you to see the shit that I'm the, the way that I'm living in this luxurious apartment. But um, no, I hope you can hear me for starters. I know you're cool. Um, I've had a, I'm having an amazing time, absolutely amazing time. It's the best thing I ever did. Really is. Lo okay, so I had a date last night that was really good. Um, what can I say? I'm a bit baked, sorry, a bit stoned. Um, yeah, last night I had a really amazing date. Uh, it was just really good. Like, it took me to an incredible sort of Japanese restaurant down a little side street that I never would have found on my own. And then, uh, bought, and then we went to this like rooftop cocktail bar, which was really cool. And he had a view of like all the buildings around you and it felt really cool and then of course there was the solar eclipse of the there was like a blood moon and there was a, a lunar eclipse sorry and it was like spectacular because the night was really clear and I was right on the top of a skyscraper like incredible um yeah it was I don't know if he planned it that way or if it just like I think he might have known I thought he and he's quite geeky I reckon he knows I think he knew um yeah it was cool it was a, a spectacular day, although we just made out in a booth for the rest of the night, it was great, it's really good. I needed that, I've been single for like 10 months and I haven't been near another person in like 10 months, so I sort of needed a bit of attention, that was good. What else? Shitty, shitty temp job continues, that's fine, it's just admin, health admin shit like I was saying in the UK. We're going to loads of meetups, like meetup groups, meetup.com, but also like the Newbies International Melbourne group, which is like people that have moved to Melbourne from other places. Some of them are like Australians that have moved to Melbourne as well. Um, and it's been like really great. I've been going out and smashing it out and gathering numbers and then texting people, following up. This girl, like, sorry, woman that I met is like taken to like calling me up for a chat sometimes. It's like, it, like she's like quite, she's a Londoner too and she's quite like, we never would have hung out in real life like she's really quite cool and like south london and i'm all like not cool in north london um i don't think we ever would have been friends in britain but she like calls me up for a chat and stuff i've never i haven't had a female friend that calls me up for a chat in forever like i don't really have female friends i like women i just don't, don't seem to like me uh, so that's really nice so i'm doing well i've listened to me like it's great it's like you know um, okay, so I haven't done anything, like, I've been to loads of different bars, a lot of drinking going on, and, but I haven't really done anything, like, spectacular yet. I haven't been, like, you know, skydiving or something, any of that shit. Um, but I obviously will. I just, I'm just, it's settling in. I've been here for a month now, and I'm just enjoying the social culture too much. Melbourne's such a sociable place. Like, the Australian way of speaking is much more, like, laid back and slower um, but not like when you meet slow Americans, they're probably a bit thick. <laughs> like with, with Australians, they're like really laid back. So it's like, you don't need to like, f like I'm talking really fast. So you don't need to fill the silences and shit. I'm really having to learn to like not jump on what people say because I sort of do London speed. 
It's worked out well for me in my job though, because I just came in and blitzed it. <laughs> the, the other temp that was there already got moved down to like the temp three email address, and I got given the temp one email address because I came in and smashed it out. So I haven't made any friends amongst my like peers, but uh, I didn't mean to do that either. I just that's just you have to work at that speed in London, or you get snowed under. Whereas in like the suburbs of Melbourne, it's not it's much more chilled, sunnier country. Everyone's just like more more laid back. So uh, yeah, no, it's been amazing. I'm gonna stop blathering on now. Um, I hope you're well, and I will make a video of me doing something interesting soon. I'm sure, <laughs> not just like talking. Oh, I'm gonna try one more time to show you that view, even though I know already with a flip cam that I'm essentially doomed. Yeah, that's amazing. Melbourne's a really small, like the centre. They call that the central business district. Melbourne's really small. That is the centre of Melbourne that I just showed you in its entirety. Just a pretty incredible view from your balcony. Um, yeah, cool. See you soon. Bye.